Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and for the last eight or nine years, I've been very fortunate to be able to cover the space program, both for this channel, but also for a site that I write for called ctnewsjunkie.com. And we just got back the other day from a trip down to watch the SpaceX Falcon Heavy lift off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, incidentally, that launch complex is also where the space shuttles lifted off from. And as a result, you watch the launches from pretty much the same place, which is the NASA press site, uh, which is located about three miles away from that launch pad. And one of the things that I did about eight years ago when the last space shuttle lifted off was take an audio recorder down with me uh, to the Space Center. I turned down the audio gain on it and put it on the ground and it captured some amazing audio of the Space Shuttle's last flight. And I did the same thing on this most recent trip for the Falcon Heavy. And I thought some of you might find it interesting to hear the differences between these two spacecraft. So put some headphones on and have a listen. We're going to start with the Space Shuttle. And I should let you know that this one was recorded uh, on the last launch of the shuttle program ever at the press site. So there was a lot of people around. You're going to hear some people talking and doing some play-by-play, -play, but the rocket will be very distinctive there. So let's have a listen to the space shuttle. Again, put those headphones on, make sure you're on HD, and we'll follow that up with the Falcon Heavy. I'm sorry. <laughs> we thought we'd see more smoke already. There it goes. Wow, is that bright. And that's one of the things that you can't appreciate uh, on TV is just the brightness of these rockets. And now the sound is coming. Listen to that. You might have noticed it takes some time for the sound to actually travel to the press site. Uh, so again, we were three miles away, so you see the rocket lift off first before you start hearing it. And I wanted to preserve that uh, little delay of sound just so you can get a feel for what it's like to be there. Now, one of the cool things about the Falcon Heavy launch is that its two boosters come back fairly close to where it launches from. So you get to hear a bonus round, essentially, of four really loud sonic booms followed by a little bit of rocket roar and of course the microphone picked that up too. Now one of the cool things you'll hear in this recording is not only those sonic booms but also the audio echoing back from the vehicle assembly building which was behind us. You'll hear the booms then you'll hear a metallic sound 
which is actually the sound echoing off the metal on the side of the VAB. Have a listen. There it goes. Whoa. <laughs> Now, if you're curious what recorder I was using, uh, the Falcon Heavy was recorded on this H4N Pro recorder from Zoom. Uh, in full disclosure, this one came in free of charge a while back from the Amazon Vine program. I have another one of these just called the H4N, which is the older version of this. Uh, that one I paid for with my own funds. It's a great recorder. What I like about them, in addition to having their built-in microphones, is that they have two uh, XLR inputs here at the bottom, so you can plug in uh, you know, high-end microphones and get really clean and crisp recordings out of it. Uh, but I found in many cases the built-in mics are more than adequate. It can record uncompressed onto an SD card or you can record compressed right out of the gate if you have a lot of uh, time to cover with it. It runs on AA batteries. I usually use rechargeables, but at the moment I have some uh, lithiums in there just so that I didn't have any issues with recording running out on them. Uh, you can also adjust the pickup range of the microphone. So I had mine set to 120 degrees for the launch, uh, but you can also narrow it down to 90 degrees if you're doing interviews and that kind of thing. You can also get windscreens for it and everything else. Really flexible recorder. Uh, I found it to be a great tool to have in the toolbox just because sometimes you may not have a fancy camera with nice mic inputs, so you can use this and then synchronize your audio uh, up with your editing software afterward to get a really small camera into a place with good audio uh, from the microphones that you bring with you as well. So a handy little device and certainly uh, pretty good at recording rocket launches too. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of this thing in the future. We might be able to do a full review or something if you're curious about specific features of it. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.